And hello again, everyone. This is the inspector back with you for another shave. Okay. And uh, today we're, uh, well, let's go with different order here. Uh, we'll go with um, the Simpson T3 Trafalgar brush, synthetic. Very nice, large knot. Uh, haven't used this one in a while, so. Um, price on this is about 32 bucks. Okay, most places that you get them. Um, we're gonna go with the uh, Captain's Choice Copper Lather Ball for a change. Okay, I haven't used this one in a while also. Um, Pre-shave, we're gonna go with um, uh, the Noxema Protective Shave as a pre-shave. And uh, for a razor, we're going to go with the Merker 44C Double Edge, third use Parker Blade with the, uh, has a nice cigar handle with the matte finish. Um, pretty cool. Uh, I got this at the Razor Company, available I think for $32.99. It's the best price I've seen anywhere. So, nice job, Jason. And for, uh, we're gonna go with the cream today. And it is uh, for Zod's Barbershop, okay? And it's for Zod's Tobacco Shaving Cream. Uh, Frazad is a well-known barber in Vancouver. You can look him up on YouTube. He does uh, scrape razor shaves. I got this at Pasteur's for $29.99 for how many ounces? Eight. That's not too bad. Um, the scent on this, it's light, but has a very pleasant, I'd say fresh tobacco scent. Um, smells really good, so we'll use that today. Um, that's the setup, and first we'll uh, wet the face, okay? As always, I've um, already cleaned out my face really well, and we're going to take some some of this pre-shave or protective shave and apply it to the face really well, as we normally would do. I put a lot on here. That's okay. Okay. Looks like we did a good job here with that. And I will. back on here. Slightly mentholated this uh, Noxema as you would sort of expect. Okay. Gonna wet our brush. Make sure it's a little damp, just slightly damp. And we'll Take off some of this on the, the cap here, okay? Brush some of that on the, the brush, get that on there, okay? And we'll go in with the cream. That should be enough, okay? I'm guessing. 
put the cap back on. Um, what I'll do this time, I'm going to temper my bowl with some hot water. Get that. Try to get some warm lather going. Okay. And I'm going to leave just like a half a teaspoon of water to get going. And we'll put in our bowl and begin to lather. And we're going to need more water, of course. That's fine. Right now, it's a, it's a paste. Got this all over the place here. And I didn't use a lot of cream. I think we're going to have plenty, though. I think we're going to have plenty, guys. I say this, uh, this cream is made by Crown Shaving for Frasad and his barber shop. So, it'll be the first time I'm using this product. I expect it to be good. Um, yeah, Pasteur's doesn't carry uh, bad stuff. Scent is light, but very, very pleasant. Okay. All right. We'll heat up the blade. Okay, first pass with the grain. Um, see how this feels, very smooth. Standard Merker head feels uh, not aggressive at all, but very efficient so far. Okay, very efficient so far. Going on about, oh, I'd say three days, three days, girls. Razor feels, uh, very solid. Okay. Very solid. So tomorrow's Friday. 
last work day of the year. Hopefully for most of you too. I'll probably work a half a day tomorrow. So I start at seven. Finish around 12. Like I said, I have a Parker blade in here. And third use on this. Um, I've been using Parker blades now for probably about a good three weeks now. And this is really my third shave on this is good as the first. So Performs great in every razor I put it in so far. So, really critical, guys, to find a good blade out there or blades because. It can mean the difference between a good shave and a terrible one. Okay, that's first pass. We'll rinse. We'll go back to the brush, reapply for our second pass. Yeah, once in a while I'll get a uh, comment on my video and uh, just uh, guys who make random comments like I cut myself bad and, and that sort of thing. And it's no guys, I'll let you know if I cut myself bad, okay? Or if it's just a little cut. Um, most of the time on camera, I haven't gotten serious cuts at all. I've gotten maybe a weeper or two, but, and you know, if I get weepers, I just take out the Allen block and um, it's, it looks worse than it is. Um, believe me, if I get cut bad, I'll definitely let you know because I don't edit out these videos at all. Okay, what you see is what happens, okay? So, maybe those guys are seeing something different than I am, but I'm here to tell you what the real deal is here. I wouldn't lie to you. It all, it, you know, you know, from time to time, we all cut ourselves one way or the other. Um, but... Most of the time, it's, it's real good, so. Very nice. Okay. Good slickness with this cream. So far, yeah, I'm impressed, you yeah. know. Uh, 
like I said, guys, I got, you're going to be seeing new stuff for a while because uh, I have stuff that's, a lot of stuff that I haven't gotten to yet, but I will. Just uh, one shave at a time here. And it will be good. Very nice, very nice. I'd say this razor to me guys feels like a medium aggressive. It's it's just maybe a touch more aggressive than your Edwin Jagger DE89. Um, just a tad more aggressive than uh, the Dural Grove that I used last time, but not by much, you know. Not by much. Yeah. And now we'll go up on the chin. And uh, if you're wondering, let's put some more lather on here. I will probably be doing one more shave uh, before the new year is out, before this year's out, I should say. 2022. Probably be happening on Saturday or Sunday. I don't know which day yet, but we'll see. Okay, do the mustache area here. I already did a head shave, so Really try to get really close on my upper lip here. Yeah, that's good. On the other side.
Okay. Looks like that's a wrap, guys. Very nice. Um, you would think, some of you would think um, that this handle would be slippery, but it's not because of the matte finish. It's not bad. Not bad at all. Um, I do pretty well with matte finishes, and so I usually go for big knurl, but this is not bad. Um, pretty good. Yeah, they call this the cigar handle. And if you see the the uh, the gap on there, it's yeah, you can judge for yourself. But to me, it's a medium shave it gives. So, all right, we'll rinse the face. There's tons of slickness on this cream. I gotta tell you, I had a hard time rinsing it off, but the slickness, but oh. okay. Let's see. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah. Not even a weeper, nothing. Okay. We'll go with the coconut water, the Thayer's. Witch Hazel, excellent. No irritation whatsoever. Um, and I'm not going to put uh, aftershave on now because it's at night, but I usually don't. But if I were to pair this, I would go with what I have here, WSP Tobacco uh, Aftershave, okay? Has a nice, very nice scent. I haven't used it in a while. I should use it more, and I will, okay? So... Let's review what we did today. Trafalgar, uh, Trafalgar T3 Synthetic by Simpsons. Our Captain's Choice Copper Lather Bowl. Our Noxema Protective Shave we did as a pre-shave. For our razor, the Merker 34C. Uh, not 34C, I'm sorry, 44C with the cigar handle. You can get this at the Razor Company for a great price of $32.99, if I'm not mistaken. With the Parker Blade, third use will retire the blade after this, the shave. And for our, we did a shaving cream for Zod's Barbershop. And it's for, for Zod's Tobacco Shave Cream. Get this at Pasteur's. Uh, eight ounces for $29.99. And uh, made by Crown Shaving. Very good cream. Excellent. I enjoyed it. Um, yeah. So that's what we did. I want to thank you guys for sticking around. Um, and guess what? For those of you who stuck around, thank you very much. And guess what? We're going to do a giveaway. All right? Let me get the stuff. I'll show you what I've got. Okay, let's go here. See if I get everything together. I didn't have it already, but... I'm being pressed into action here. Uh, where is that thing? 
Hold on. One second, guys. One second. Okay, we're back. All right. Like I said, no editing here. Okay, so what's for giveaway? Okay, we're going to go with uh, giving away a one-blade hybrid razor. Pivoting head, takes feather blades. I've got three packs of ten here, okay? So that'll keep you for a while. I also have, comes with a razor stand, okay? Nice razor stand here. There we go with the, the logo on there. It sits right there. Um, also, with that, we have, uh, it comes with uh, all the literature here. Um, it comes with a little blade bank, which I'm not going to undo because it's still in its packaging. And also comes with a Really nice little razor case. And this like khaki uh, carrying case here. Okay. Um, so that's, that's going to be the giveaway. And um, my only requirement is that it's going to be shipped within the continental United States. Okay. So, um, I'll take the first person who says I'm in. Once I see that, I will um, respond back and uh, we'll hook up um, with the at your address, your mailing address. I'll get it out. I don't know if it's going to be tomorrow. Um, it'll be either tomorrow or Tuesday. One of the one of the two, but uh, we'll see how it goes. Okay. Um, so yeah, um, good luck. Um, I'm guessing with the blades and all, I mean, we're looking at probably about $130, $140 or so, maybe even more. I don't know, but uh, what it's going, I think it's going for $125 now. I think that's just the razor, if I'm not mistaken. So you get the whole, the whole shebang here. I might throw in a few samples and stuff like that too. So, okay guys. I want to thank you for joining me. This has been the Inspector and the Inspector's Den. We will see you in a couple of days. Take care, guys.